Again, the link's down in the description, and you can go see. Ow! Dave, can you can you film this guy on the back of my neck? I this? can. Zoom in, man. Zoom in. Where'd he go? He's not there any longer. Oh, there he is. He's up on your head. Oop. <laughs> Get a nice shot. Did you zoom in? Uh, hang on. I'm trying. Hang on. Is this on auto? Auto what? Auto focus. Should be. Freaking fantastic. I think this bodes well for the trip. We just got here. We're just getting our rental vehicle for our trip. And this this little guy popped right onto the top of my head. So I feel like this bodes oh, extremely well. Oh, he just jumped away, but he's been hanging out with me for a while now. And uh, I think that's a good start to the trip. It's, it's a good sign. You see, kids, grasshoppers are in the uh, insect family. And uh, they hop. I don't know what I did to get my hands so dirty already. We haven't even started yet. Here they are. Go on, Uncle Brian. He's like, don't let me down, I'll die. Oh, jeez, Dave. Here. There you go. That. That. That right there. Whoa, what is going on? Look at this. This is our... This is our masterful vehicle in which we will be traveling from Darwin down to Alice Springs, then back up to Darwin over the next week or so. Look at this thing, man. You guys seeing this? This thing's sweet. We can sleep up on top. They're sleeping in the middle. With, oh, I'm, I'm stoked right now. This is awesome. Look where we're at. Hey, mama, look at me. Funny thing is this actually looks a lot like the last place that Dave and I went herping together in California. And uh, link for the video that that was right there. I want to introduce you guys to a couple people real quick. This is Troy. Troy's coming with us on the expedition. Troy is a master of, what are you a master of, Troy? Fucking <laughs> you, you guys, put me on the spot. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I'm a master of either, so to be fair. We will figure out exactly what Troy is a master of before the end of this trip, I promise you that. <laughs> so this place feels a lot like, like Hawaii, the, the environment. The feel, the humidity in the air, the temperature, which makes sense. We're kind of, we're on the northern territory. They actually told me that if I'm going to be up here, I got to be um, saying things like shit, cunt, and uh, fair dinkum. So I might be shit a lot and, and fair dinkuming a lot. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. But I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm just ecstatic to be here, dude. This is, this is phenomenal. Look at this. Lizard eggs right here in the grass. So I believe those two lizards we just saw there were long-nosed water dragons, which are likely what the eggs sitting in the grass in the park back there were. Dude, this is already, I can tell, this is just going to be the most amazing trip. Dude. We're going to find so much cool stuff out here. Ah, I love it. Let's talk about something real quick. Sorry? Let's talk about something real quick. So that happened. <laughs> oh no. Everything, uh, everything's on the floor now. Are we going to Alice Springs just to see Uluru? Uh, what else is what else is down there that we're going all the way to Alice for? Parentes. Parentes, Ackies, Gridlai, Uptown, Gecko. All right, enough, enough said. We're, we're done. We're going to Alice Springs. <laughs> One of the main reasons we're going to Alice Springs, which is what we're doing exactly right now, headed that way uh, to find Redeli. I think that we, we have to go. I know that Dave was asking because it's kind of a long way, and we're kind of going to try and shoot there as, as much as we can today so that we can kind of gauge how long it's going to take us to get there so we can make it back to our flight on time at the end of the week. Also, an important topic is uh, the fact that I got this hat. And uh, Dave said it works out for me. I think I kind of agree. I think it really works out for you. You think it works out? Yeah. I, I'm kind of happy with that. I thought, when I saw it on the rack, I was thinking, ah, that's probably not going to work out. But now I'm wearing it, and it's going to keep the sun off my head, keep the sun off my face while we're out there looking for all these awesome animals. But uh, we are we are riding in our golden chariot. I couldn't make that hat work. You can make that hat work. Somewhere out there, there is a hat for me. That one ain't it. Somewhere a hat for me. <laughs> hey, Troy. <laughs> hey. 
Sean, get, get your hands back on the wheel. <laughs> Everything is backwards here in Australia. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to be on the road for the foreseeable future, so I think we'll just pick up this vlog whenever we get out of the car. It might be tomorrow, but it'll we'll keep it in this video just because we, we've seen a couple little water dragons and some cool birds, but there's there's a lot more and we're going to be fitting lots of animals into lots of, uh, lots of animals into less videos, so see you guys in a second. Endless bats for days. Snake, not a first snake, he's coming at my feet right now. I would like him to oh. go. Whoa! Yes! Like, I would like to go up, but there's nothing. Uh, he moves. Boega! Ryan, tell us about this Boega, will you please? He's awesome. Uh huh. Well, I don't know that he's a he. He looks kind of he ish, but he's, look at him, look at him. He's fantastic. Only thing I can tell you about him for sure is that I know virtually nothing about him other than he's a snake on the road in Australia, the first one I've ever seen, which makes him possibly the coolest snake I've ever seen in my entire life. That is a true statement. Look at him flick his little tongue. Yeah, it's great. Look at the freaking colors, dude. Look at it. It's an amazing looking. Dude, that thing's amazing looking. What a, what a sweet snake mm. to find for the first snake. Yeah, this is our first... Uh, you're this right. Is the first this snake, is the first bro. snake, bro. It's the first the snake. Bravely ran away, away, oh brave so snakey! Oh brave Boega! Dude, that's so freaking awesome. Don't so what? what is this? This is a cat, a uh, uh, striped cat? Uh, uh, not tiger. He's gonna get snake. your toe, Bad Davis! He's after your toe! Oh. Ah, so freaking cool, man! Alright, so this is a banded tree snake. This is in the Boega family. And hey, well, hi, how are you? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> it's kind of working. Oh, dude, 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 the footage is fantastic. I just like to state for the record that Troy has been shat upon by this snake. It's not only the first snake we found, but it's also the first snake that shat on Troy. How do you feel about it, Troy? It's not the first. And it's not going to be the last tonight either. Uh, he's, he's musking me, but I want to show just how amazingly cool. Hi. Wait, you weren't going to let him bite you? Just let him bite you nah, a little bit. he's not going to bite me. Are they rear fanged or what? Yeah, they're rear fanged. Yeah. Snake, they're also called night tigers. And this is one of the boega species that's found here in Australia. Very similar to the boegas that we were finding in Thailand. And it's our first and it's our first snake of the trip. So like the mangrove cat-eyed snakes that we were finding in Thailand, this is a boega and therefore it is a rear fanged, mildly venomous snake. But again, most of the venom that comes from this genus, boega, is not harmful to humans. That's such sick footage. Whoa. He rises to the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention that I like snakes? I like snakes. Dave! How do you feel about snakes? I enjoy snakes. However, I'm not enjoying my focal contraption. Dave's worried about his focal contraption. I'll do, I'll do that again. For no, you. no, you won't do anything again. The snakes... Uh, I'm moving, guys. I'm moving here. Is that all right? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I've been approved by locals to move here. Found this holly cross frog. You and just told us that these can stay underground for years, and they eat ants. But look at how he just inflates his body like that to make himself look like as big and an. So we just found this Nikolai cross frog that you and said can bury itself for years. And look how he puffs up his body like that. <laughs> no, do the same damn thing. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, what a neat little dude. He just wanted to squeeze. He just want to squeeze those little cheeks. Just, just to squeeze them. 
Squeeze them. Oh, it's just air. Yeah, <laughs> Sneak peek to Dave's vlog that's coming out soon. Uh, link in the description. Tune in next week as I squeeze a frog because it's so goddamn cute. <laughs> Welcome to Dave Kaufman harasses a frog, everybody. Ewan, is this one of those frogs that you can, can you lick this frog and have a good time? Tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh. Oh, really? Lick your fingers, Dave. Uh, yeah. Good morning, starshine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing that I'm filming now, I will have some music over it. I would say that one of the challenges with uh, like filming a video with somebody else who's filming the video is that you, you know, Whoa, like, Kane Toad. end up filming the same video. Well, that is true. That's however, true. however, we both have different editing styles, that's and therefore, very true. you that's know, very true. anybody that's going to watch yours is then going to come to my channel and see how I handled that footage, and then they're going to go. I'll do nice editing footage with some nice music and make it like a little happy tale, and then yeah. you'll, you'll provide the facts, so you can watch the nice, beautiful right. cinematic shots here, and then go over to Dave's right. channel, and he'll teach you about what it actually is you might want to learn about right. them. Right, and people that would watch my channel. Like I like to do. Would then go to your channel and see how you've handled the same thing in your own artistic voice, let's say. Special I'm not looking at the lens, I'm looking at the windshield because there's going to be a black-headed python. I think I'd just rather... He's going to sink, he's going to sink, he's going to sink. So, cut that out, cut that out! All right, guys, we found a children's python on the side of the road, and, and Dave just did a little segment on his channel as well as we're doing many segments together. Uh, I will say that the segment on his channel was more educational and actually more entertaining. I did the whole segment, but, it, you know, usually Dave's stuff is more educational as we talked about a minute ago, but uh, for some reason I decided to be educational. Maybe it's because I was on Dave's channel, but you have to go watch Dave's channel to see what just happened over there. I mean, a lot of you guys probably watch both of our channels, but just in case you don't, Again, the link's down in the description, and you can go see... Ow! <laughs> well, you're not going to see that on Dave's channel. <laughs> but that was fantastic. Epic. My first snake bite in Australia, dude. Ooh. I'm freaking loving every minute of this, man. He popped That was amazing. Chair. Ooh, I caught him. It's all right. We're good. Nice. Oh, bro. I'm so f***ing happy right now. Look, look at how nice he is. He didn't even draw blood. He just bit and didn't draw blood. What a nice... That's so... Considerate of Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So it has nothing to do with those little teeth. That, no, you know, uh, no, he was being considerate. He was being considerate. Don't blame it on his tiny teeth. Yeah. All right, children's python, back to Australia you go. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I just found what appears to be a large pile of cow dung, and there are mushrooms growing out of it. I'm not going to say anything else. This trip's about to get interesting. Gecko friend. Say hi, Gecko friend. If you're ever feeling lonely and you need a little friend, Gecko friend. <laughs> Where's he get there? Little Gecko friend. Little gecko. Look, he's just holding on, hugging my thumb. <laughs> he's a thumb hugger. You heard of tree huggers? He's a thumb hugger. What hugging the thumb. So nice. So soft, so sweet. Ryan, I fear that we're getting delirious after being awake for 48 hours. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not the lack of sleep. Where are you, Dave? L.A. Mmm. Baked. Well, my Jewish friends, although their hats were very cool, were no help in finding Dave.